Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 14. This is Problem 14. It says the table below shows a survey of 50 registered voters in a city. Each voter is asked if they plan to vote yes or no on two different issues. If a voter that plans to vote yes on issue P is randomly selected, what is the probability that voter also plans to vote yes on issue Q? So, 50 voters all together, two issues, P and Q. So they say if you randomly select a voter that's going to vote yes on issue P. Um, so if you look, here's issue P, the people who are going to vote yes, there's 20 of them who vote yes on on P, and they, they break it down, the 8 and the 12 gives you this 20, and that's how they vote on Q. And the people who are going to vote no on P is 30, so that's your total of 50. So we're interested in the people that are going to vote yes on issue P, because that's what the question talks about, yes on issue P. So that is this row of our chart. So of the 20 people, who are going to vote yes on issue P, what's the probability that you happen to choose one that's also going to vote yes on issue Q? So Q is broken down, yes votes on Q, no votes on Q. So of the 20 that will vote yes on P, this 8 that will also vote yes on Q, and 12 that will vote no on Q. So of the 20 that we selected, out of those 20, 8 say they will also vote yes on issue Q. So the probability is 8 over 20. Now if we look at our options, none of them are 8 over 20. We have option A is 0 0.16, option B is 0 0.36, option C is 0 0.40, and option D is 0 0.67. So what happened? Did we do something wrong? Well no, we have one of those answers, it's just not in the same form. So when you have a fraction and you want to make it into a decimal, what you do is you divide the numerator divided by the denominator. 8 divided by 20. You could try and reduce this. Um, they're both even. You can reduce them by 4. Or if you have access to a calculator, you can just do the numerator, put the numerator in your calculator first, then divide, then the denominator, and hit equals. And the calculator, or by hand, will give you the result 0 0.4. If you do it on a calculator, that's what it'll say. Now that's getting pretty close to option C. It's certainly closer to C than to any of the other options. Is that the same, 0 0.4 and 0 0.40? In fact, it is. You can add zeros after or to the right of the decimal, and it doesn't really change it. So the answer for problem 14 is option C.